Hello. In this video, you will learn about a new feature in Apex 22.1, which drastically simplifies working with remote databases and REST-enabled SQL references. Let's first have a look into our application on 22.1. And under the REST-enabled SQL section, we can already see I created a REST-enabled SQL reference before, which points to a remote Oracle 19c database. And this allows us to send SQL or peer SQL to that remote database, have it executed, and get the results back. And since Apex 18, we can create all sorts of Apex components, reports, charts, and others uh, on top of such REST-enabled SQL references. The new thing in Apex 22.1 is now that we can combine this feature with the very similar REST data source feature. And that allows us to create a REST data source tailored to a very specific maybe complex, maybe simple, SQL query pointing to a remote database. And let's try that out. We create a new REST data source from scratch, pick the new REST-enabled SQL query type, provide a name, and pick the REST-enabled SQL reference. Then let's type in a query. I will use a very simple example. Credentials are pre-selected. Let's discover the results and we see the data from the end table. And now I have created a new REST data source, which is tailored for that very query on that very remote database. And as I said before, we can now use that in Page Designer for all sorts of, um, of Apex components. I can simply create a classic report, for instance, based on that new REST data source. And I don't need to put in a SQL query now. I get my columns here and everything is pre-selected. And I can reuse that prepared REST data source wherever I want in my Apex application. So that REST source is, if you will, similar to a view, which you can just create and reuse. And on top of that, we can also use other REST-enabled SQL um, features like local post-processing um, or synchronization or, and that's the next piece, which I would like to show you, REST source catalogs. With 21.2, uh, Apex introduced REST source catalogs. And if we now have a look into those, then we can see that my workspace already contains a catalog with four REST data sources um, with various um, SQL queries on that remote database. So, and a description, right? And what we can now do is share that REST source catalog with others, other developers in, the, in, the, uh, in, my, in, in my company, for instance. Click on Shared Components, create a new REST data source. Now I'm creating them from the catalog. And I see my pre-created, my curated catalog of SQL queries for remote databases. I can add those to my application, take a credential, create them all at once and can now start using those in my application. And so I can use data from a remote database in my application without even having to know about all the SQL details, the optimal SQL query and the most performant way of expressing my query. Have fun trying it out.